Shalom everyone, it's called Torah, and today we will discuss Parashat Dvarim, new book, Deuteronomy, and we will try to discuss something very interesting regarding this Parsha and this book. Especially the first four chapters of this book are in a way dedicated for Moshe's speech. And when you look at the speech itself, it's being structured in a really in a brilliant way in terms of how to start a speech, how to build a speech in the middle, and how to finish up the speech that will basically create the long-lasting impression on the audience. Today, I would like to take the last subject matter that Moshe brings up in this speech. And this is really the commandment and the notion to remember the revelation on Sinai. We need to remember, we need to remember that we stood on Sinai, and if not us, our ancestors, and we got through the covenant with God, and we received the Torah that will be our guide, really, forever. When we think about the revelation on Sinai, many things come to mind. Covenant, commitment, passion, responsibility, obligations, rights, privileges, uniqueness, specialness, many, many things. But there is one detail that I think is very, very important because I think it will teach us something about ourselves. Moshe was the one to receive the Torah on Sinai. And he gave it to Joshua and Joshua to the elders and the elders to the prophets and the prophets to the people of the great assembly. But let's think about it. Let's pause for a second. Moshe received the Torah and was the first teacher of the Torah. If we think about Moshe, the first things that comes to mind is not Moshe the leader, Moshe the king, Moshe the Kohen, Moshe the unbelievable prophet, but rather Moshe Rabbeinu, which means Moshe our teacher. What is this so unique? in teacher-student relationships. So if you really analyze it, a teacher gives the most precious thing that you can have. It's your own knowledge. A teacher, for example, when he comes and gives a class, he prepares in advance, and then he delivers it to the class and basically impart part of his own self, his own being, to his students. And there is a reciprocity. Because the students add to the teaching process. And then the teacher opens up and accumulates the knowledge of his students. And there is some kind of a symbiotic relationship between students and teacher, teacher and students, where somewhat those differences and, those, and this distance is being minimized and minimized. And the students and the teachers are basically talking on the same level. And a good, real, true teacher always hopes that the students will become better, smarter than him. What is the message? Moshe Rabbeinu is teaching us a tremendous message. We are all teachers. If not by profession, by life. If you walk somewhere, if you have a family, if you are a father, a grandfather, a mother, a grandmother, a sister, a brother, whatever we are, we have the responsibility, but also the talent to be a teacher, to influence someone's life forever, and to do it in a way that doesn't cost us money. It's just Part of who we are, we try to impart and to apply on someone else and to be able to be open enough to receive from others as well. When you see what the Jewish people now, our brothers and sisters in Israel, go through, for me sitting here in Memphis is a tremendous teaching lesson. See how much support and unity, and love 
we see now on a daily basis. Tremendous support from the civilians to our soldiers who are so, with so much courage, go and fight for us. There is a sense of unity, of achdut, of connection and relationship between people. And the teaching and the lesson for us is, we should do the same. We should set the bar high. We should set the bar that, yes, we are together, always, for the sake of the people of Israel. So let's be teachers. Let's, all of us, be teachers in our own little life and create a long-lasting impact on generations to come. Thank you.